Virginia might can tell that is Latin, or they call it tank bromeliad because when you look inside, there is always water. Or they call it giant bromeliad. You see how tall it can get? Yeah. Now that this plant does not feed from its roots. The roots of this plant is just to hold it into that standing position. And it cannot penetrate the conglomerate. So the roots are buttressed. They grab and keep the plant standing. Now that's for feeding purposes. Now if you were here early this morning, you will notice that uh, we can be as close as we are and we don't see each other. It's all misty. On the edges of that fall, that water doesn't have the power. It's not going to hit 741 as it drops, it vaporizes. And then the wind takes it out in a mist. And that's covered this entire plateau. And that's when these guys are being fed. Okay? Now, what's most important is that this is the home of one of the endangered species of frogs. I guess those of you who had brochures, you would have seen a little golden frog. We want to see them. Yeah. It is called golden frog, that's because of the external appearance, but Holoxus bbi, that's a scientific term, because William BB, he was a Smithsonian scientist on frogs, and he discovered this frog having an anesthetic potent, it's called tetrodotoxin, 160,000 times stronger than cocaine. They used it in Haiti, the anesthetic of course, which they did not get from the frog, because there are certain types of fishes that has that anesthetic, all right? What it does, it lowers your metabolic rate almost zero. Now, the, the, the voodoo priests, they use that to boost their morales as witch doctor. If you take a patient to the voodoo priest, he gives them a dose of tetrodotoxin and the person is literally dead. And then he will quarrel with the family. Why didn't you bring the man last week or two weeks ago? You people always does this nonsense. You wait until people are actually dead and you bring them to me. You think I'm God and he goes on. And then he will say to them, but listen, I want you to gather the village, bring everybody at 5 o'clock this afternoon, bring out all the drums you've got, we're going to light bonfires and he's going to make an attempt to raise the dead. Huh. He knows the dosage he's given, so when all the drums are beating and the fire and all of that, oh, of and the person starts to recoup, it looks as though well, he's actually raising the dead. Huh. <laughs> the tetrodotoxin is wearing off. <laughs> I'm going to show that frog to you, right? Yeah.